So you're looking to move to the Saratoga Springs area and you're not quite sure what the best spot is for you and your family. Well, you're in luck. I got you covered on this one. We're going to be talking about the top five neighborhoods in and around the Saratoga Springs area. So don't go anywhere. Sit back, relax, watch the video. Hi, my name is Chris McMahon and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Saratoga Springs area and the entire Capital District. And I'm putting out a ton of videos all about the Capital District, Saratoga Springs and the surrounding communities. So if this is your first time through your page, make sure you subscribe to my page as well as click on that bell so you get notified anytime I put out new videos. I get a ton of phone calls from people looking to move into the Saratoga area as well as other people who are just looking to relocate or even downsize and I love it. Downsize, so if you're looking to do any of those three then reach out and get a hold of me, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, whatever works best for you but get a hold of me today. Alright so let's jump right into it and let's start with the first neighborhood we're going to talk about which is the actual city limits of Saratoga Springs area. The downtown area is a beautiful area to live here. A lot of older homes in this area, a lot of Victorian style houses, late 1800s, early 1900s, but all have been kept up extremely well. There are some opportunities for some newer homes in this area. A lot of them are some recent condos that have been put up kind of a mixed use building. You've got condo living in the upper floors and then the lower level is commercial space. It's a very walkable area. If you've ever been to Saratoga in the downtown area, you know it's beautiful. It's great. A lot of shops and restaurants and bars. Just kind of walk up and down the street on a summer afternoon and take in the scenes and enjoy that. So it's very walkable as well as there's a lot of amenities down there. We've got the rec departments, which has got a number of parks in the area. And again, as I mentioned, there's a ton of restaurants, bars, and just shopping that's easy to walk to in the downtown area. And recently, some of the newer additions down there is they've been recently adding bike lanes. So if that's your thing and your bike maybe commute to work or you like to ride just for exercise, they're starting to put in some of these bike lanes. It's also very close to the north way. It's close to exits 13, 14, and 15. So if you've got a commute down to Albany or even heading up north to Lake George or the Adirondacks, it's an easily access to the I-87 to get you there. The second neighborhood we're going to talk about is Greenfield. Greenfield is on the outside of the city limits of Saratoga, but it's not that far of a drive. It's more of a rural community. If you're looking for some land and some privacy, this is a good spot that you probably find a couple acres. with a nice old farmhouse. It's also mixed in. There's a lot of new construction there as well. Not so many developments in this area, but there are a few to choose from if that's something that you're interested in. As far as walkability goes, is you're probably really not going to walk too many places from here, but it's a short drive into Saratoga Springs. A little bit further, you got to go through Saratoga the other side if you're going to do some shopping over in the Wilton area, and we'll get in touch bases on that in a little bit. As far as access to the main roadways, Greenfield is a little bit further out. It's a little bit of a drive to get over to I-87 or even to Route 50 to take you down to Schenectady, but. If you're looking for privacy, you're looking for a little bit of land, you're looking to be off the beaten path a little bit, this is a great area that you're gonna wanna check out. Okay, so the neighborhood number three we're gonna talk about is Wilton. And this is located on the other side of Saratoga from Greenfield. Um, much of this is developments. It's a short drive into downtown Saratoga, probably depending where you're at. It's a roughly five minutes or so to get into the middle of Saratoga. Um, a lot of great houses in this area, a lot of great amenities. There's also a ton of shopping over here on this side. Most of the shopping in the Saratoga area is located off of exit 15, which is part of Wilton. You've got the Wilton Mall, a bunch of little strip malls in there, and along with that comes the restaurants as well. 
as far as walkability and commuting you're probably not going to walk too many places here but it is pretty close to i-87 so if you're commuting south down to albany or if you're heading north up to the adirondacks it's a pretty quick drive over to i-87 to be able to jump on that road and get to either one of them now big advantage over here wilton is due to all the business that they pull in a lot of tax revenue is that the taxes in this part of town tend to be on the lower side so that's one thing to keep in mind and a very big appeal for a lot of people who move over to the wilton area are is because of the lower taxes that they have some of the amenities that we have well we've already mentioned all the shopping and the restaurants over there but there's some recreation things there as well we've got a ymca located there uh, there's also gavin park which is in that area there's also a, a country club there that comes with not only the golfing and 18 hole golf course but it also has a pool and tennis courts as well And let's not forget and pass over where I'm standing at right now, one of the Wilton walking trails, which there is probably about uh, a half a dozen or more Wilton walking trails that you can take advantage of. They're just scattered throughout the area, very accessible. They're kept up nice, uh, safe, and a lot of people like to come in and visit these during the day. The fourth neighborhood that we're going to move into is the saratoga lake area if lake living is your thing then you're going to love this spot again distance wise it's a short drive into saratoga springs it's also not far from i-87 so again if you're commuting this isn't too bad of a drive to get over to 87 to get yourself where you gotta go It's also not a far drive to get over to all the shopping in Wilton. So it's conveniently located both the I-87 as well as the shopping over there in Wilton. As far as the lake itself, it's a good sized lake. It's about four miles long, stretches from Saratoga and it kind of touches down to the southern part into Stillwater area. And it's got a lot of the amenities that you see with the lake. There's marinas on there, you can rent kayaks. There's some restaurants and bars located around the lake. On the lake, obviously, there's open to boating. You see kayakers out there. There's also Sandy Bay where a lot of people take their boats and they dock and it's shallow water up to about your waist and you can hang out there for the day. There's also fishing and the sunsets off the lake are beautiful. And also, as we know, Saratoga is famous for its race course, so it's over in that area, just a short little drive away from there, you can run into a lot of the thoroughbred horse farms that are in the area as well. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna talk about, number five, is over on the west side of town. A uh, huge development over there called Geyser Crest. There's some other newer developments scattered in there as well, but the big one is Geyser Crest. And this is more of the entry level homes in the Saratoga, or the more affordable homes in the Saratoga area. Some really nice homes in that development as well. But some of the amenities in that area, well, you've got Geyser Park, it's close to the school. Uh, there's also not far from the state park over there, which you've got a lot of things going down there, including a couple of museums uh, and as well as SPAC, Saratoga Performing Arts Center uh, is there as well. And also you've got a brewery located in that direction too. So it's a really great area, like a really a great area over on that side again it's a little part as walkability you're not going to walk into saratoga so it is a couple minute drive in probably shorter than the other ones two or three minutes for depending where you're at to get into saratoga the middle of saratoga but it's also pretty close to route 50 heading to schenectady as well as i-87 if you're heading to albany or heading north as well so there you have it those are the top five neighborhoods in the Saratoga and the surrounding area so if you are looking to move or relocate to this area then you gotta get a hold of me make sure you call text email whatever tickles your fancy reach out get a hold of me today and also if you want to learn more about the information that I talked about or more about the neighborhoods or anything and just living working commuting um, just all around you know being part of the Saratoga community 
community make sure i'm going to be doing a ton of these videos so make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as click the little bell there so yeah you can get notified when i put out new videos so in the meantime if you want more information i'll even do a personal video for me today and i love to start out with a conversation with you get to know you and see how i can help you out so i'll see you on the next video